Breaking right now, emergency crews frantically searching for an eight-year-old who fell into the Great Miami River. We have been closely following the story all throughout our newscasts. Moments ago, the fire chief did confirm that the boy was fishing with his family near the convergence of the Whitewater and Great Miami Rivers in Cleves when he went under. Nine on your side, reporter John Genovese is live at the scene. John, what is the latest? Yeah, right now we're told there are around 70 personnel searching the Whitewater River for that eight-year-old boy. Now, this all happened around 345 this afternoon. If you take a look over my shoulder, you can see those flashing lights off in the distance. That's actually Lawrenceburg Road. And if you go down, that's where they're loading those rescue boats into the water. Now, that eight-year-old boy was apparently out fishing at the mouth of the river with his family when he fell into the water and never surfaced. Right now, crews say they have seven boats and one helicopter searching about a two mile stretch of the river for that boy. Now, some bigger boats with sonar equipment are having difficulty searching certain areas of the river. That's because of pockets of deep water and pockets of shallow water. The chief here says that's making it extra difficult for crews to pan out this process. The current itself is kind of slow. But again, it catches a whirlpool or catches a drift and it speeds up, so it's quite unpredictable.